That is possible and it's going to be followed up through this week with a series of policy releases translating items in the Obidati Manifesto into practical solutions to problems of people across this country on the economy, creating jobs, securing Nigeria, ensuring that Nigeria 
Nigeria is united, making certain that policies that bring us to new possibilities in this fourth industrial revolution are available for our young people to be able to prosper and for people to respect Nigeria around the world because it is possible. The new Nigeria is possible and this meeting is a play. Indeed, the new Nigeria is possible. Is possible. We want you to give us your brief message for the people of Oshimili, South Local Government Area. Oshimili is at the heart of the big heart that is Nigeria. And Delta is. Don't forget that Asaba was once the capital of Nigeria. And so we start from here to renew Nigeria, to create that new Nigeria. Asaba is central to the OB legacy. It was in Asaba that the Labour Party had the convention that Peter Obi was nominated. And as some people say, uh, the umbilical cord of the birth of Peter Obi and the obedient movement was buried here in Asaba. And so we're starting from here and charging up the rest of Nigeria to say, truly, we can renew this country, make the people prosper, make the people less angry with one another, and live well together. So what do you expect from the obedience here? We expect obedience to ensure that not only are they ready to vote, that they have their PVCs, but that their neighbors are ready to vote. And on that day, together with their neighbors, they come out and vote massively in a way that will provide a landslide. There's no question about a uh, uh, runoff and no, no, landslide at first ballot and become part of this social network that government policy will be implemented on. So this is not just about a movement of winning election, it's about a movement of running a new government that takes the benefits of governing to the grassroots, to the people. But, yes. Prof, what's the position of the youths in this movement? Central. The young people of Nigeria were the ones who found Toby. Toby did not find them. They found him. They are the rock, the foundation around which an obedient government will be founded. The things that they need to deal with in a few years will determine how policy is made because it's about the future of Nigeria, not about yesterday's men trying to get benefits without having done the work to make for a greater country. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Prof. Thank you. No, the point is about. Charlie boy. On our artist for now, he should do a book. Now, let me go get it. Charlie Boy, on our finish, a book that is playing. On our Malifa Jumala, who is part writer. Malifa, man. And my daddy is here. On your channel, Nimbo. Okay, Mado. He politicized so much. Talking about Professor Otomi. Nigeria, use our And please, in you know, all this time, as soon as Charlie Boy makes his entrance, my uncle, my role model, talking about Professor Pat or Tommy, to give us a little address. Was on the and ladies and gentlemen, on this grand entrance, I want each and every one of us to be on our feet. Mayor representing the man who will make a difference. Charlie Boy is here. Charlie Boy is here. Charlie Boy is here. Charlie Boy is here. The Charlie Boy is here. The youth movement has started. And there is no relating. There is no going back. Follow the man. Backward river. An option. Charlie Boy is here. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, I will be fighting to the podium.
that is problem. We have come out to chase the thieves away. What did I say? All those who have held your life captive, we have come to chase them away. Structure of thieving. We have come to destroy that structure. We'll destroy it and take Nigeria back and give it to you. Is that what you want? You want to take power back? I rest my case. Go for obedience. Thank you very much. No big true. No big true. Obedience like yes. Papa, Mama. Dalono. Thank you very much. We don't I don't have a lot to say. First of all, to thank you for being here. And then two, to say that that system of using you and dump you after election and come back after four years will not happen again. Yeah. With Peter B and Dati, after we have won the election, everybody will be recognized. All schools will be in session the way we expect it to be. And you know what? All the monies that they've been stealing, that we're going to stop. These monies are more than enough to give scholarship to all your children. And Obi is coming to prove to Nigerians that it is possible to do it. And it will be done. You hear all the loans that they've been giving to market women. Have you seen any market woman who said, I got the loan? No. But recognized. And everybody will be very happy. So just be steadfast. Be steadfast. No shaking. All those who say, if you don't vote, after they've won, they will kill Igbos. They will not do it. What we know is that God is with us. And we're all working hard. And Obi and Dati will come to power in this country. And it will happen. Everybody say amen. Amen. Thank you. I won't call I won't prop as I young like this. I don't go 21 African countries and all the countries where I enter. Hey, you go away, touch me for the wonder. We did the wonder. Our phone, you know, say for all the other countries, some of them are then they drive for our opposite side. So our phone look on the walk. We can't they enter inside Kigali, they go one village. The only place where they will feed by charger. I look this guy, I look this guy. I say, nah, come on. Blood is thicker than water. The guy saying a lie. We come back to the finish. No be solution be that. As we won't come out to everybody day from nine, the guy stab me saying no nah, for now. <laughs> Anywhere you enter for this world, where you people know day. That place now. Nah. That place now. Nah. And this government, you know they see my face everywhere. We don't believe in this lie, 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 lie government. The young people are represented. One of the strongest Obonke young person. Somebody say energy. Energy is the representation of the youth. That is why 70% of Nigeria are young people. We never win our team. We never win. To talk to us in a few minutes is one of the strongest men in Africa. Somebody put your hands together, make some noise, and shout. Yeah, we should sit down and start thinking since 1999 to date. Maybe in the 24 years, 24 years of your life, 24 years of my life, 24 years of each and every one of us's life is been stolen by PDP and APC. Now, I, this is the time to take back our nation. No, we know the fear. No, no fear, nothing. Because nothing good comes easy. As we don't under this sun, God know, and they're going to give us energy. PDP and APC, they don't mess up the system. 
Very only two things. Neither Sabi. One, turn our young boys into 419 Yahoo. Then make them believe, say, if you cut human head, you go get money. Now, so then our ladies into prostitutes. Mothers don't lose their values. Fathers, the same thing. No respect. High moral decadence. I call what they don't try. My life. But all the nonsense what they do. Shabin and me are you the suffer now. Buhari the same thing. PDB and the prison are the same now. People say Labour Party in a third force. No, we be second force. Because PDP and the PC now what? What? And we must what chase them away. Every time they will come tell us, say that they're in power. You will see person go to school. They carry can can't give up. Is that how it works? Oh boy, now one hand the thing. Now one hand he did to take back our destiny. It's in our hand to prepare for a greater tomorrow for our youth, generation next and yet unborn. If they bring money, you get mine. Collect them. But before you collect that money, pro for more. These people have read their body. But when you want vote, vote who? Vote who? Now so, Labour Party, together we stand. I don't ready for the country. Let's go come. Okay, chapel, chapel, no be. So they say if they give you something, do what? It won't be you, do what? They now know the thing. If now you do a carry for pocket, drop and three times, pump it, 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 now any people can't go. So some people are getting now, they tell me, say, he never for a no come the last day. He come, oh. He come. You know, say, some people, they do, they give out water, water. So he don't be grandfather now. I can't they look, then they pity them. If you not, national level of something. Somebody say, fix Nigeria. Fix Niger. Say, fixing Niger. Niger. Not the level where in there be that, oh. Because he won't see this new Nigeria will go happen in a few days. supposed to talk when I say area you say father area area yes for those ones who know, know me my name now Charlie Boy the king of boys yes all the boys waiting for area now the area father the father of their fathers Go tell them. You know why are they happy today? Oh boy, to make noise. Shut up there. You know why are they happy today? Some day registrar. Some I don't even know. Yes. Now make us start that movement. Our mumu don't do. But I can't discover, say, it be like, say, our mumu never do. That was five years ago. Yeah? Because most of my Peking no no say, Mad Mo don't talk, I'm here. Say, we be waiting. Now we be the government. Because if they know, say, now we be government. They know go they look those people for government house like they are lords and masters. Then go no say then get power where those people no get. Yeah. So you know then get different kinds of mumu. Then get mumu where be follow come. Then get mumu where be factory fitted. But the worst mumu, eh? When I know the worst mumu, the worst mumu 
na when he be family inheritance you get any mumu we dey here okay just to avoid doubt i won't teach you now song one small song so before i they go i don't get many things to yano because now so with the walk all over the place they try make we see say nigeria must be better by fire than force okay make una listen or make una listen make una listen today 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 my moon don't do today today our moon don't do today 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 my moon don't do today today our moon don't do Today, today. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I can't play with you last night. No worry. I'll see you there. Let's go. Thank you so much. My mom is going to pay us for it. If my mom stop today, eh? I go to Gwem. Mano Obi Banya, I bring Mumu na Banya ni mo office. Mumu na you suit. Mumu wa di convoy yeso. That the God will bless you, the Father of all fathers. Yes. Now, man, we be say if you see him, he no go know his age. But as you day like this, it's not my grandpapa who don't die. My senior colleague, and I'll take back to back is the business. Let's do this. Play that in Mokusi. Play that in. Aha! Give me this, give me this. Somebody say your yeah, father. My Mokusi is right now.
challenge before us. The challenge before us is to make real the promises of democracy. The challenge before us is to take our anger to the polls come February 25th. If you're angry enough, go talk to your neighbors. If you're angry enough, go beg your friends. If you're angry enough, talk to your mother. If you're angry enough, talk to your father. If you're angry enough, talk to your friends. That's what we need. Don't just dance around. Don't just follow the rallies. Become the vehicle of change. Become the vehicle of a new day that we all crave. Become the substance of the victory that we expect. Don't just dance. Don't just sing. Go from door to door, house to house, neighborhood to neighborhood. Preach about the new day. A new Nigeria is truly, truly possible. But the magic that we all have and the great weapon we all have is our fingers. Go out on the 25th of February and vote Mama Papa Pekin. Use your thumbs. That's the magic. That's all we're talking about. We're telling you that not only is a promise that you expect to be kept, tied and hinged to Peter Gregory B. We're telling you that that promise is definite. That promise is possible. A new Nigeria is a reality, but it, de it depends on what we do. Area Father has just told you, now you be the government, but for so is it time to make real the promises of democracy. Now is the time to bet a new nation. Now is the time to fulfill the promises that we had since we were children. Now is the time to salvage our country. Now is the time to make Nigeria great again. Now is the time to elect a leadership that is responsible and responsive to you. Now is the time to elect a leadership that you can trust. And I challenge you, all you must do, all you can do, all you have to do is step out on the 25th of February to vote Labour Party. All you must do is to step out on March 11 to do the same thing. With God and with your votes, a new Nigeria is truly possible. I love you. Break it, 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 thank you, thank you Professor Chris, you have been doing us proud, from here this is one of the people who are taking it down in this place, let's appreciate all that here, yes thank you, thank you, that's a representation of the youth movement over here, right now we are now father, is, is about the foremost economic political professor in Nigeria and he comes from Delta State Delta State receive our one and only Professor Pat Kutome In you Nigeria is possible You are the government that we know but how will you make that happen you know, my heart is full of plenty of pain. Uh, Delta is called the big heart. But where is that bleeding heart? In this place, you people call some people road masters. But there's no road in Delta. <laughs> 40 years ago, every small village in this state had a world-class high school i can tell you i'm a friend of everybody who has been governor in this state since states were created 
I came here once, good when I was governor. South South leaders were meeting. And I was chairman of the South South Economic Summit. Udua was the one who nominated me, and all the governors agreed. And I said to him, Oh boy, you know the shame? See school where I made you the build for Potakot. Where the one where you build? He said, Ah, if you want, come back. I will put you in the car. We'll go down and I'll show you. I'm building schools everywhere. I said, Where? Yeah. I said, If you have to take me around to show me, that means the schools are not there. But we have witnessed retrogression in Delta. In 1967, I was in school just across the water there in CKC. St. Patrick's Asaba was world class. In fact, I had to decide between SPC and CKC. I came to SPC, registered, in the evening I moved to CKC. Today, illiteracy is preventing our people from competing. People are certificated illiterates. They go to school, they get a certificate, but they don't do anything. And we are living in the fourth industrial revolution. We are dead. This is what they have left us. This is a legacy. Today we cannot go anywhere and be sure we are safe. When I was nine years old, nine, eh, my parents were living in a town called Guzo in what is today's Zamfara State. Nine, I got in a train from Guzo, got to Kaduna. Nobody followed me, just by myself. Got to Kaduna, changed trains. Got to another, into another train that brought me to Enugu. And from Enugu, I got into a bus that brought me to Onicha here, nine years old. Today, when a 24-year-old person is going for youth call the mo in Abuja, the mother carries a bag and follows him. Our country is so insecure that the future of all of us, our future, nobody knows where it is. You cannot continue to just dance and dance and dance at political rallies. This is a time to put on thinking caps. If we do not realize that we are in an existential crisis, that if this Nigeria continues like this for another four years, there will be another, there will be no Nigeria. Nigeria has not had a government for nearly two decades. They were once a thriving country but they were governed by the kind of men who have been governing Nigeria. And today, life is worthless, it's meaningless, it's purposeless in that place. Do you want Nigeria to be like that? If you don't want Nigeria to be like that, it is time to elect Peter Gregory Obi and Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed. Together, they will redeem this land. We came here some weeks ago. Peter Obi, myself, Dati, others, everywhere. But did we talk to one another seriously? Because there is too much dance in the air. This is why we came back. So that like brother to brother, sister to sister, one day and one day, I not palia. Kuno no nime for a matter of life and death. Ready? Go to our neighbor's house. Ask them, do you have a PVC? He says, yes. Who will you vote for? Who will you vote for? Who will you vote for? If you vote for Peter Obi, then you can be assured that we will unite and secure Nigeria. If you vote for Peter Obi, then you can be certain that we will go from consumption to production. Down this road, we have a Taba textile mill. When it was built, 
Nigeria was producing textiles and exporting to Britain. Today, what do we have there? What do we have there? All they are doing is sharing what little comes from oil revenues. Now they are stealing all the oil anyway, so there are no revenues and we are killing each other. We do not want to kill each other anymore. Say to them, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. A new Nigeria is possible. And it is enough. And you and new Nigeria build it. The new Nigeria is possible. It starts today and it is you. If we don't get 100% of the vote in Delta for Obi and Dati, Hey, <laughs> by nine o'clock and see the new Nigeria in making. Bible World Watch is here. Come and wave your hands to the people and let them see you and celebrate you. Okay. Labor Party! Papa, Mama Picking. God bless you all. God has given us this victory. So just celebrate. But make sure you get your PVC. God bless you. Thank you. Fantastic, Honorable Welch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let the DJs slam the door. Message would you want to drop to all the obedience here so that they will carry that home? I've always believed in the exceptional youth of this country, and I've always maintained okay. that the salvation of Nigeria lies in the hands of the exceptional, the exceptional youth. Okay, so and I'm very happy, I'm glad and happy today that the youth that I'm beginning to see now. Uh, like the youth, I did see, like, which was why we started the movement. Our mumu don't do. Now I see, say, our mumu don't benefit okay. us. Okay? And um, there's a new consciousness, you know, floating around. And people are wanting a better Nigeria. 
and I think that a better Nigeria and a new Nigeria is possible. Okay, so that's why we are witnessing this revolution that is taking place. You know, so all I can say is now I'm relying on you, like the area father. I'm relying on you because no one could make this thing happen. Okay, not be me. Because the power is in your hands. Like I said, you must realize that you and you and you and me, now we be government, no be them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. We are not just doing this for Nigeria, we are doing this for black race. We are doing this for humanity. Let's evil end. Thank you so much. Sonny, you 